Hey guys, Darren here from Running On Real Food and I'm about to make my roasted squash and marinated chickpea salad and I thought you might like to check this recipe out because it is a good one. This salad has a couple moving parts but all in all it's really easy to make. Um, first thing you're going to do is get some chickpeas marinating. After that you can get the squash in the oven. Quickly make the dressing. The rest of the salad is really easy to assemble. It's just some kale, cranberries, hemp seeds, walnuts. I think that is it. Kale, cranberries, hemp seeds, walnut, roasted squash, the dressing, and the marinated chickpeas. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do for this recipe is get the chickpeas marinating. Um, so I've got one can of chickpeas here that I've already drained and rinsed, and we're just gonna add the marinade ingredients to this. What you'll need is two teaspoons of oregano, a teaspoon of thyme, a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon, some pepper, and lastly, we're gonna use two tablespoons of olive oil and three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. So that's it for the marinade. Just give it a good stir. And then these can go into the fridge. The longer you can let them marinate, the better, but if you can do a minimum of half an hour, um, up to a couple hours is great. All right, next let's make the squash. So I'm using an acorn squash, but you can also use a butternut, kabocha, delicata, any kind of squash works. So just go ahead and chop it in half, scoop the seeds out, we'll cut it into wedges. These wedges can go onto a baking tray and add a little salt and pepper if you like, and these can go into the oven at 425 for about 30 minutes or until tender. Next, we've got the dressing. So first thing is three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon of Dijon, a tablespoon of maple syrup, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder or minced garlic. Give it a good shake and that's the dressing. Next is the kale. So you want to tear the leaves away from the stems and give it a really good chop so you've got small bite-sized pieces. That's all we need to do for that. Once the squash is roasted, let it cool to the touch and then you should be able to easily peel the skin away and chop it into pieces for the salad. All right, so let's start assembling this salad. So I've added some kale to a bowl. So I start with a couple tablespoons of cranberries, a couple tablespoons of hemp seeds, a tablespoon of walnuts, add your chopped squash, add a nice big scoop of the marinated chickpeas, finish it off with your dressing, and you're done. Roasted squash and marinated chickpea kale salad. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Please let me know if you try it. You can find this recipe at runningonrealfood.com. I will put the link in the description. And thanks so much for watching.